Bonjour, my name is Anonga Kwe Wolf. Last Tuesday, I received an email from savetheboundarywaters.org that there were going to be three public comments sessions being held by the Bureau of Land Management. And I signed up and luckily I was selected through random selection to provide a commentary to the BLM. And it was just yesterday, January 18th, 2022, when I delivered that message. And you'll be seeing it right now. Not more than 70 years ago, a child could run barefoot through the dense, moss-blanketed forest to dip their toes into our pellucid lakes. Their childhood summers were fondly spent out on their canoes with their relatives, spearfishing for succulent walleye and trout, foraging through the boreal woods for wild mushrooms. When parched from the sultry air, they had the option to drink water from our clean lakes. What was once deemed a given to the daily privileges of life of our ancestors, to be more personal and specific, my ancestors, the Anishinaabe, some privileges like clean drinking water and an abundance of wild foods that could be distributed amongst all living creatures are hastily being exploited and adulterated via the capitalist violent methodologies to gain dominion over nature. Vast boreal forests like the ones within the Boundary Waters and Lake Superior National, National Forest are incredibly biodiverse ecosystems home to thousands of species of animals. These thousands include 300 species of birds, 130 species of fish, and is home to essential predatory mammals like the gray wolf. What about the interdependent relationship between plant life like the sphagnum moss, one of the most efficient carbon sequesterers on land that carpet the taigo biome and the mycorrhizal network, which distributes carbon, water, and other nutrients to other plant life? What will truly be gained when the mycorrhizal network is severed, when thousands of acres of forests are uprooted? What I can certainly say is that by disturbing these grounds, you will be releasing a carbon bomb, ultimately hastening climate change, indefinitely affecting the futures of all life on Earth, including your grandchildren's and their grandchildren's. I urge the BLM to deny any acreage to these extractive mining companies in order to protect and preserve the boundary waters and all life that thrives within it. Sulfide ore mining has a 100% track record of water pollution. We cannot risk losing any more of our vital boreal forests and contaminating any more water system. Pro mining sides claim that we need minerals for the green future full of electric cars. What is truly a green future if our lands and ecosystems are decimated and life on earth is no longer sustainable? A 20-year lifetime of a mine is not worth the trade of a water-based ecosystem that would be forever ruined. My name is Anangakwe Wolf. I am an enrolled member of the Lakuta Ojibwe Band of Lake Superior, Chippewa, and I thank you for your time.